Uh, what's up guys? This is going to be a quick uh, DLSS 4 tutorial for uh, Arena Breakout. Now that Season 2 is out, they still haven't put it natively in the game, so you do still need to set it manually yourself if you want to enable DLSS 4. Uh, I 100% recommend this if you have a card capable of doing it, which is 2000 series onwards on NVIDIA. It just looks so much better. It looks better than native. Uh, I highly, highly recommend it. At least give it a go. Uh, the first way that we're going to do it for most people, I think, will be anyone who has installed uh, recent NVIDIA drivers and has the NVIDIA app, the one that looks like this. If you have launched ABI on the system before, after also installing the app, ABI will actually be in the library already. And all you're going to do is go into the ABI settings. And you're going to go to DLSS override model presets and press this button here and go to super resolution. And mine's already uh, changed the latest. So I'm just going to, I'm going to restore it. This is default settings. Yours probably look like this. We're going to go to the button again and you're going to tick use different settings. Uh, these don't, these don't matter. Go by one, by one and you just going to tick latest. This means that the driver is just going to find the latest uh, preset in that current driver. So it will work forward in the future as well. And you're going to apply. And when you launch the game, it should now be using the LSS4. And it's that simple now if you use the app. Now, if DLSS4 is working, the game will be very crispy in comparison to what it was before. Uh, DLSS4 should be working as long as you actually have DLSS on. Uh, it will be, should be very obvious by the clarity in the game. But if you want to actually double check to make sure it's working, you need to enable the NVIDIA overlay, which you can see down here right now. It's actually easier to see the numbers if you just go to the shooting range loading screen like this. And you can see that I am on preset K, which is what you currently want. It's currently the latest one. And V3 is misleading. It actually is DLSS4. Um, and 3.10.2.1 is the current DLSS4 version that you, uh, this is the goal to get to basically. Resolution numbers are going to change depending on the super sampling quality you set. As you see, it got a bit lower. I can't really recommend what to do here. It's going to be based on your PC. I'm very happy to run on 1440p quality, but I have a very powerful PC. So once you have DLSS4 enabled, feel free to play with these. Um, performance is actually not that bad at all on DLSS 4. On the original version, it's very bad. It's full of ghosting, but 4 is just so much better overall that performance is actually quite acceptable, especially if you're trying to squeeze out more frames. Uh, if you do want to enable the overlay, I'm going to recommend you use uh, the scripts from Freethe, which is in part 3. I also just think it's the best way to enable the uh, DLSS 4 in general without having to worry about anything. It's just I know some people don't want to use scripts but I still think it's like the easiest way to turn off the overlay and turn it back on whenever you want. So that'll be the option I'm recommending. If you are a bit like me and you don't like to install the NVIDIA app, you can still use old methods. And it's still the method that I use. Uh, it's just kind of the same as last video. You download NVIDIA Profile Inspector. The link will be in the description. And it's pretty much the same steps as before. You open it up. Uh, the only thing here, here is if you start doing this and you've already used the NVIDIA app, there could be some uh, compatibility issues. So you would have to make sure you go to Arena Breakout Infinite, which will be in here automatically now. If you added a profile before and you find two of them or something, feel free to delete them, uh, delete the old one. Uh, and when you're in here, you can see that the app did this already. Um, let me just move this into the frame, sorry. You can see we're in, the, we're in the ABI profile right now. But you can see the app, this is what the app did, but we actually, for this method, if you don't use the app at all, you never open the NVIDIA app at all, you're going to have a default profile here. You, you, see, you won't have to come here. And you'll be on global, the home profile when you first open Inspector. And all you're going to do is scroll down. And I think I already did this, but we'll just default it. All you're going to do is scroll down to common and DLSS and preset letter is going to be always use latest, which is similar to the option in the app. But you're also going to do the DLL override, which just forces it to use the latest DLSS version within the driver itself. We're not downloading any files or switching any files here. So even if you update the game, this should work. Just note that because you're doing it on the base profile, this is going to affect all the games you play. Uh, and you might have to, if there's any problems with another game, you'll have to like check to make sure there's 
uh, if there's any issues in that specific game. But overall, uh, forcing DLSS4 is not really a problem and you can always fix it. You can always just default these profiles back to normal and apply. Always make sure you press apply afterwards as well. As you can see here, we're still on the desired uh, profile and everything by this method. And just, yeah, once again, if this doesn't work, if you do this and you're still on preset E and you're someone who installed the NVIDIA app and played with things on that and then decided you want to do it with Inspector, try to just default everything first before doing it again. Uh, otherwise, there can be like issues where in the app it's set on and in Inspector it's not and it gets messy. And I'm going to quickly do one last method, which is just for people who are happy to use scripts and don't want to mess around with anything at all. Uh, this is one of Freethy's scripts. Shout out to Freethy. He does a lot of PC optimization uh, stuff. He has a GitHub with lots of tools on it. Um, this is one of them. And there'll be a link in the description as well for this. And all you're going to do on this one is allow scripts. Going to run as admin. Scripts on. Any key to continue. And then you're going to go into files, DLSS force latest. And this is a PowerShell script. So you're going to right click run with PowerShell. And this is going to come up. And this is actually also an easy method because you can do the overlay on and off in here too. So you wouldn't even have to go to that YouTube video below in the description to manually do it. Uh, this is what I generally link people to do. It's just, I know that not everyone will be happy with using scripts, but I assure you they're completely fine. It even explains here, the versions here, equaling four and three. And all you'd have to do here is, uh, press one and enter and you press okay. And that's just basically just done what we didn't inspect ourselves before. Um, it's just, you don't have to do anything yourself and you can reset everything by doing two and enter. And the handy thing here is to, you've got the overlay and you can turn it on. And turn it off. And all you have to do is um, restart the game. If your overlay is still on, you will need to come back into here and just do it again. Um, yeah. You can always still inv open inspector here too. Very easy to follow. Uh, this actually will also set Freethy's preferred NVIDIA settings. So it's on, up to you if you want to try that out. Um, he generally knows what he's doing. So you can still always default all this stuff. This is just a very easy go-to method for people who don't want to do... I mean, there's not that much to do, but if you, if you don't want to actually do it yourself. Um, the end result is all the same for all three methods. There's no longer any file moving or anything. Everything comes from within the NVIDIA driver. So for the people who were telling me last time, like it's dodgy or you shouldn't be altering the files. Technically, when you were replacing the file in the last version, you're just grabbing something that's inside the driver anyway. So it's not really a problem. Uh, but this version should make you much happier if you're one of those people because we're not altering any files. It's just changing the settings within the NVIDIA driver itself. And uh, yeah, if you have any problems, please let me know. This should be a... Uh, much more straightforward version, uh, especially people who just do the app. Uh, don't do all the versions. You might end up with some compatibility, 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 compatibility. Don't do all three versions or something. You could end up with some mismatching, but the script should always overwrite everything anyway, if you do have a problem. And always remember that if you do like have an issue where you can't fix it at all, I just restore your NVIDIA settings in the normal 3D control panel. Or if you've still got Inspector, you can, sorry. You can also default them in here. So as you can see, if I go into control panel and restore, and then refresh, this is all default again. Uh, so when in doubt, always just default everything and start again. Uh, thank you guys. Um, this is just a updated guide on DLSS4. I hope it's easy to follow. Um, I personally use the script method because it's just easy and I know it works and I trust it. But all these methods are fine and they should all result in the same thing. Uh, thank you guys for watching and 
I hope this helps. And we'll do a little bonus. Look at the cat. Look at the cat. Isn't she pretty? All right, guys. Thank you. I'll see you on stream. Bye-bye.